my name is Michaela Box and I am here today to talk to you about how to lower crime rates in the United States. Norman Vincent Peale once said, when a problem comes along, study it until you are completely knowledgeable. Then find the weak spot, break the problem apart, and the rest will be easy. One of the United States' biggest problems is our crime rates, and our weak spot is the punishment given to our criminals. A slap on the wrist and a few years in jail for a violent crime is not exactly justice. After studying this problem, our justice system is not strict enough. It is way too lenient. If the United States of America will increase the punishment sentenced to criminals, less people will commit crimes. America's weakest spot is our crime rates. According to the FBI 2012 crime statistics, the number of violent crimes have increased 0.7%. While this does not seem like a drastic increase, it has a drastic effect on the United States American citizens. In 2012, there were an estimated 1,212,462 violent crimes, according to the FBI 2012 crime statistics. Not only were there 1,212,462 violent crimes committed in 2012, but there was $15.5 billion stolen from victims of property crimes. Whether it is drugs, property crimes, murders, the justice system is obviously not doing something right. 2,487,415 people die annually each year which means half of the United States' deaths are crime-related. Realistically, the numbers prove that something can be done to better our justice system. When looking at our weak spot, the next step is breaking the problem apart. After extensive studying, the reason crime is a problem in the United States' judicial system is too compassionate. Criminals are not compassionate people so they should not be treated with anything less than what they deserve. If the justice system shows a sign of weakness, then of course the criminals will use it to their advantage. It is better to be too tough on the accused than to be too easy. Criminals have a chance, just like any other American, to live the right way and do the right things. However, they must remain consistent to decrease the crime rate in the United States. Sure, the justice system has punished the more brutal crimes accordingly. The criminal justice system, like any system designed by human beings, clearly has its flaws, said Ben Wishaw. Wishaw hit the nail on the head with this quote. Nothing that is man-made will ever be perfect because we are not perfect people. If we tighten down on our laws and be consistent on giving criminals their, given, their deserved consequences, then our crime rates will drastically decrease. In order to reduce crimes in the United States, there are a couple steps to take to appease the crime rates. Many Americans fear the fact of death. This fear alone would cause Americans to think twice about committing crimes. Capital crimes or brutal crimes should be punished by death. In Texas, there is a system in place to make a fast pass to the desk chair. If there was a penalty, a death penalty, people would be scared to commit crimes or at least think twice. In addition, the state of California has a three strike system in place. If you commit three crimes and are convicted of these, you are automatically sentenced 25 years to life in prison. Many of the states in America have different laws when it comes to convicting people of crimes. The judicial system could also create an overall law to maintain consistency and lower crime rates in the United States. With so much controversy over what the law should be, the overall rule of the judicial system would apply to every state and not just some. Our jail system is almost a luxurious lifestyle for people with little in life, so they commit crimes to be put in jail. We should be tougher on people. If we forced prisoners to do manual labor like farming their own food, People would choose not to commit crime. In Brazil, prisoners are able to create energy to create power for the prison in local towns. Although they are a third world country, the idea is still a strong foundation to start from. This would 
also save millions of federal tax dollars. Prisoners in the U.S. are given three meals a day and free time to do as they wish. Requiring each inmate to grow their own food would be beneficial for America's tax dollars and also strike the fear of starvation into individual criminals. If we give the inmates less free time and require them to work instead, then the United States as a nation and local residents would benefit. If we are harsher in our prisoners, in our prisons, the outcomes are quite beneficial. As stated before, we must find the problem and break it down to get to the core. We can discuss the problem forever, but without taking action, the problem will never be solved. Crime rates in America are increasing tremendously, and something has to be done. The leniency of our justice system has caused a huge controversy, especially with the victims to their families. Some people argue that our justice system is inhumane. However, it cost Americans millions of tax dollars. The justice system, in order to reduce crime rates, must pursue harsher punishments for the convicted inmates. Yes, we are human and have emotions. However, we must create opportunities for the growth of America and our economy, while also doing what is right and best for our country. If we make the inmates work harder, make them grow their own meals, give longer and harsher punishments, and ultimately scare the accused, America's crime rates will diminish and the people will save millions of dollars each year. Here I've created a poster telling you about Black Dolphin Prison. Black Dolphin is a prison located in Russia. After watching a documentary on this particular prison, I grew very fond of the ways that they rose, that they process their criminals and handle their criminals. Here's a picture of the criminals cell room. There's a black and white television showing closed circuit classes and religious services only. The toilet, sink, and water foundation is combined into one unit. An immovable concrete desk and stool is in there. A poured concrete bed. A four inch wide window looks out onto the inner courtyard. And here is a vestibule for added insulation and security. These criminals are combined to this space for the entire period of time that they are in, in prison. Here's a picture showing how they receive their meals each day. They receive three meals, one in the morning, one at lunch, and one at dinner. It is given to them through a hole and is also oftentimes soup and a piece of bread. Here's a picture of the outside of the prison. And here's the black dolphin. Here's the guard dogs that surround the prison. Um, they are they weigh right at 200 to 300 pounds, so I would not want that chasing after me. Here's a picture of how the criminals are forced to walk around the prison whenever they have to move outside of their um, prison cell in order for the police to search their rooms and make sure there's not any inappropriate objects in there. They have to stand and walk like this, and they're also blindfolded so that they do not learn how to um, navigate around the prison in case they might ever get out of their cell. Here's a picture of how the cells are arranged. Um, there's an upstairs and a downstairs with multiple walls. And here is a picture of the walls surrounding Black Dolphin with wire along the top. And one thing I also learned is there has never been anyone to leave Black Dolphin except by death. So I appreciate your time and I hope that you learned the causes of um, crime rate and how to decrease them. Thank you.